Hi guys, I'm here today to film my September empties. I have a big tub of empties here for you today. And so I will just get started in going through my empties. So I'll start with some of the boring ones first. Uh, the first one I have is a scope. I use one of these about once a month. It's uh, my favorite, so I go through it once a month, no big deal. And another thing I go through once a month, just about, is the Crest 3D White in Arctic Fresh IT, Icy Cool Mint. Um, it's a whitening toothpaste, and I love these, and I go through one a, one a month. Um, I tried a body wash this month. It's from Empire Australia Coconut Oil and Coastal Sea Minerals Luxe Body Wash. I did not like this. I got it from TJ Maxx for $4.99. It's not moisturizing. The first time I used it, um, I had to use about four handfuls of it to take an entire shower. So I ended up using this as hand wash the rest of the month. So I had a rather large bottle of hand wash to go through this month. Next thing I have is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Coconut Lime. And I bought, I repurchased um, from this brand. This Coconut Lime is absolutely wonderful. You can still smell it in the, the package. But I bought the Aki and Pomegranate kind this time. And I took a shower this morning using it. And I started scrubbing my body with it, and I was like, what is that god-awful smell? And it smelled like wet cardboard when I was putting it on my body. So when I get done with that scent, I will definitely be going back to this coconut and lime. I love this. I actually like the scrubbing that it was doing in there. It was just the smell. It smelled like wet cardboard. I, I can't handle that with my shower. So I won't be repurchasing the... Aki and pomegranate again. Um, I have this desert tulip hand lavish hand cream. It says this has got the most god awful scent to it. Um, I took it out of the package and I used it one time and I got it on me and I was like, oh lord, I cannot handle that smell. Um, and I don't want to give it to anybody that I know because I don't want them to be around me with this smell on because it just stinks. It's just awful. I got this out of a glossy box. Um, I only did one glossy box and it, I've got this in that glossy box and I'm getting rid of it. It's brand new. And then this also came out of the same glossy box and it's an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And this stuff gets on your lips and it stains and when it dries your lips actually hurt. I don't generally have problems with my lips. But this, every time I put it, I, I tried to put it on to try it again, my lips would just hurt. So I'm getting rid of that. So that's two products that, um, I think there was five in the box. Two of them I absolutely hated. The one that I absolutely loved was the pink Kabuki brush. I kept it, and I don't even know what the other two thing products was in that box that month. Um, I'm sure there's somewhere on my dresser in there. But uh, The next thing I used was the Aussie clean shampoo the family size bottle this took me quite a bit quite a while to use it um, I like it would use it again I have no problems with it um, I have a bunch of things that I've purchased with a uh, backups that I purchased with coupons and I will be using those before I actually go out and would think about repurchasing this I have a Batiste and it is the Floral and Flirty Blush. I absolutely love this. I think this is my favorite scent in this. And I actually went and purchased a bottle of this this morning. So I've already repurchased this one. And then I have, I got this at my hair salon. And it's Awapui and G Wild Ginger. It's a Hydro Cream Whip uh, Mousse from Paul Mitchell. It's some kind of... Um, it's got Alapui extract and it's supposed to be really good. It's like from Hawaii or something. I don't know. Some story they told me. And I went through this. This bottle's like about $21 for 
for it. So I won't be, re I have one more in there, but I won't be repurchasing, repurchasing this for a while. Um, I don't know that it made that big of a difference with my hair, so won't be repurchasing that. This is more of a oops than an empty. Um, I have a mirror here, a double-sided mirror. And I had it beside my chair in my living room, and I went to lay it down next to me, and I heard the plastic tap on the floor. So I knew I reached the floor. And the next thing I heard was mirrors. And I thought, that's not a good sound. And I looked down, and this is what happened. Lovely. So I might use these for crafting purposes or something. I don't know. But I'll be repurchasing another one of these. So that's more of an oops than an empty. Uh, this month, I went through several wipes. Uh, I tried these Fifth Avenue Fastinista. They smell like blueberries. They definitely smell like blueberries. I love the smell of blueberries. Uh, there's 60 towelettes in this package. That I wouldn't repurchase these simply because, and I don't know what's wrong with them, but every time I used one, it would end up rolling up in my hand, and I've never had that happen with other wipes. And I'd end up washing my face with this part of my hand on a part of it, so it took me two at a time. So I wouldn't repurchase these, but when I when I purchased this, I actually purchased two packages, so I have another package to go through on those. But they didn't hurt my eyes. Um, they got all my makeup off, so I mean they're good, but I just wouldn't repurchase them because I have to use two of them at a time. Maybe somebody else is smarter than me to be able to use one at a time. I have these Pons Wet Cleansing Towelettes with Vitamin E. I have a trial size pack. I absolutely hate these things. Hate's a really strong word. But I don't like these things. They stink. They smell like grandma's house. Um, they have bubbles on the towelettes, which is like soapy, and they stung my eyes. You could see the actual bubbles. You, I don't think you could see the bubbles now. And then they look like a lace doily that you would have stolen off of grandma's um, off her end table. So I just did not like these at all and would not repurchase them. Um, those are just a big no-no for me. So that wouldn't, that's a no-no for me. And then I got these Baby Ganic face, hand, and body, baby wipes. There's a hundred in this package. Try not to blind you here. But these are fragrance-free, extra gentle, plant-based, um, no parabens, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes, or fragrances. They're not tested on animals, and they're made in the U.S. There's a hundred in this pack, and I this pack actually ripped on me, and so I put um, several of them in like four different baggies to put in my truck. In my um, I have a package of them here, as a matter of fact. And um, in my by my makeup and by my um, chair in the living room, I use them for everything. And I actually tested one of them against a Neutrogena um, cleansing cloth. Could not tell the difference. They were both soft. The only difference I could tell was that Neutrogena had a smell. These don't have a smell. So I would definitely recommend these for just about anything for babies, for cleaning your face, for cleaning up anything at this point. But I love them. And I have already repurchased another package of these, so I absolutely love those. Um, my last pack of wipes is these Yes to Blueberries. I don't understand why these don't smell like blueberries. I really think they should, but they don't. They smell like lemons, which these smell like blueberries, and they're awesome. These smell like lemons. just baffles me. But anyways, that's beside the point. Uh, I love these. They didn't hurt my eyes. The cloths were big. I could get all my makeup off. Um, every one of these took off all my makeup. Every one of them took off my mascara. Just the pawns are the only ones that stung my eyes. So I would definitely repurchase these. Um, I just wouldn't repurchase the Fastinista ones or the pawns ones ever again. Uh, another thing that I got in the mail was this, and I just wanted to show you guys this. It's a sample size, and it's this Mega Red Omega three krill oil and it's compared to fish oil and if you ever my dad died of heart heart failure so he took um omega-3s and fish oil and stuff like that 
But so I got a sample of this and on here it says no fishy odor or aftertaste. I can't tell you if there's an aftertaste because the little pill is still in the bottle in this little package. Um, I ended up taping the package back together because when I opened this it stunk so bad I thought I was going to vomit. And I don't know who put no fishy odor on there because obviously that person did not have a sense of smell on him. Ugh. This stuff stinks so bad. And I was afraid that, you know, like when you take garlic, that can come through your pores. If this came through my pores, God help me. But I had this, I had my empties in a Bed Bath & Beyond bag. And I rolled it down and I went to put something else in there. And this package was open. And, oh my God, it about took my breath away when I opened it back up. So that's why I taped this up so I could show you guys. This does stink to high heaven. So... If you can stand that, God bless you, but I would not purchase that on those. Um, I got rid of last month, I used up the Help Me SPF Daytime, and it was a retinol. And this is the nighttime, and it's about a year old, and there's still some. There's about that much left in it, but it's coming undone at the bottom, and it's just getting old, so I really don't want to put that on my face and use that so I'm just gonna get rid of it but I would repurchase it I don't know if they still make it but it's a good thing and I would repurchase it so uh, the next thing I have is a Urban Decay De Slick makeup setting spray oil control I don't know if you can see that it might be blinding you at this point um, I like this I did have some oiliness like once on my face during the day and I'd have to clean it off with the blotting cloth but other than that um, I did get one that had a wonky sprayer in it, so luckily I had a trial size sprayer of Urban Decay, so I traded it out and was able to luckily move on and finish this up. So I did finish this up, and I, I will repurchase this. I definitely love this stuff. Uh, I have this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Face Oil-Free Lotion Sunscreen in SPF 30. I put this on under my moisturizer and my foundation, and I love it. It doesn't affect it in any way. There's no um, coconut smell or anything crazy like that under it. It's not greasy or anything like that. So I really like this. I have one that I've got open. I've got one to back it up, so I definitely have and will repurchase that again. Uh, I have some Lush products here. Uh, the first one is the Cupcake Fresh Face Mask, and it's for oily skin. And I absolutely love this. It smells like chocolate cupcake on your face for 10 minutes. What could be better than that? And so I've used it all up, and I definitely would repurchase this again. And then I have the BB Seaweed Fresh Face Mask. The first time I, um tried this I had an upset stomach and I guess it's a seaweed in it and it smelled like I had sushi on my face for 10 minutes and I was not giving up so I sat there with it on and um, the next two times that I used it you could smell the rose I think it's rose in there and you could still smell the seaweed but I got through the next two times of using this face mask and I actually did like it so if you don't like seaweed or sushi or um, have an upset stomach, don't put this on your face. It would not turn out well. But I will repurchase this. I do like it. And one thing that I don't like from Lush is this Rub Rub Shower Scrub. I got a little sample of it. And it was baby blue. It's a salt scrub. And this thing smells like a Glade air freshener or the air spray or whatever you call it. Air room spray. Um, I could not handle that. I could not have that on my body. It's just a big no-no for me. I have a, a great sense of smell and I get migraines from scents and this one would definitely send me off into another orbit with that smell. Um, this is the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Serum Concentrate. I love this stuff and I hate this stuff. I love it because it feels really good on your face. Um, I just love the product a lot. This costs $29, no, $24.99 at CVS or $19.99 $19 at Walmart. 
and you go through it in two weeks to two and a half weeks. I think, I can't remember, it was two or two and a half weeks that I went through this product. You're supposed to use a pearl size um, part of this product on your face morning and night. And I went through this in two weeks. So I like it. I don't like it enough to pay 25 bucks for it every two weeks. So I won't be repurchasing that. Um, I have several mascaras here that I went through. I have a L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly um, mascara that I used. It dried up and I absolutely love this. I've had several people ask me if I um, had fake eyelashes on while I was wearing this. So I definitely love them. And I would usually put this clump crusher on underneath it and then I would put the L'Oreal on over it and it looked really great and I used up this this is drying up on me too and I absolutely love the uh, covergirl clump crusher this one's in brown but I did repurchase this in black and I absolutely love it and I have repurchased this one too and I also repurchased the one that the on this one it has a kind of crazy uh, one, but I guess that one's supposed to go all the way around on the new one. I can't remember what it's called, but I I repurchased. I do have these and backup, and then I did repurchase the newer one that they have out. I have an organic wear from Physicians Formula. I hate this stuff. I put it on a couple of times, and then I would go. I would be at work a couple hours later, and I would touch my eyelashes because there would be a hair in it or something. And my eyelashes still felt like they were damp. And so I did. I don't like that feeling because everything gets caught in them. And so I left it for a month or so. And when I went back to try it again, I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. And the thing is completely dried up. So I definitely won't be repurchasing that again. And then I have the Maybelline Great Lash. This used to be my holy grail. This is the only thing I used to wear. And I bought this a year ago, just nine months ago, something like that, and it was so wet. I thought I could almost like pour it out of the bottle. And so I left it for a couple months and I thought I'll go back to it. I tried some other um, mascaras and I thought I'll go back to it and it was still wet. So I was watching Kristen Game and she said that she opened one of hers and put it on her makeup case and left it for a couple hours like this. And then went back in a couple of days and it was the right consistency. I did that too. That didn't work either. It's still wet in there. It's crazy. So I'm just getting rid of this. I don't know that this is ever going to dry out. So I'm getting rid of this. It's just, that's a disaster for me. So that's a no-no. And I probably won't be repurchasing that because there's so many more that I have that in my stockpile and then that I want to try too. So... And then I got this Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara. Um, I don't know if you can see it. In my Ipsy box or bag. And I absolutely love the formula. I love the wand. Um, it was great. It made my eyelashes look really great. But it doesn't like me. Um, I used it four or five times and I would come home and I would look like a raccoon. I'd have black stuff under my eyes. It was crazy. I changed up the way I wore my eye makeup, my foundation. I tried different things to change it and it would always continue to happen. So it just doesn't like me. But I definitely would recommend this if you can wear it. It's really good. I love the way it does. But it just doesn't like me. Um, I have a back, um, MAC lip glass in Viva Glam 6. I purchased this about two months ago and I've already gone through the whole thing. I really like it. It goes with just about everything. I put just about every it put it over just about everything or wore it by itself. So I have already repurchased another one of these and I will be back to macking this one. And then I have a couple more products here and they're both lotions. And one of them, I think I got this out of a hotel in New York. It's a Centron. Uh, honey and coriander and it's a body lotion and it's from Crabtree and Evelyn and it smelled really good 
So I would, if I could ever find something like this again, I would definitely use it. So I like that one. And then the last thing that I have is this Shea Moisture Argan Oil and Raw Shea Butter Lotion, Shea Body Lotion with Frankincense and Myrrh. It's anti-aging and softening, and it's got a really um, soft smell to it, and it stays with you all day long. You can tell this bottle is well-loved. Um, I have repurchased this. Um, I liked it so much, and it's very hydrating on your skin and everything, so I would definitely recommend this, and I have, like I said, I have repurchased it. So, that is all the empties that I have this month. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to subscribe please subscribe i would love to have you here um i'd love to talk to you guys and get to know some of you and um i'm having fun doing this so um i guess i will see you in my next video bye guys